hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that uh, how to receive otp code inside your angular application so otp stands for once one time password so i will be showing you that how to implement inside your angular application using a special dependency called as ngx otp input so it's a very special dependency which allows you to receive and fill out uh, otp codes which are received inside your application many a times you need to verify your inputs in that case you will need to receive and fill out these otp codes so this is a dependency which is ngx otp input a very special uh, demo is also there so this will be the demo we will be building here you will see that this can be of any uh, limit it can be three digit or otp six digit otp you can configure this inside your application so when I reload this application, it will uh, just uh, ask the OTP. So you need to fill out the OTP. So you can just, uh, depending upon your application, just uh, compare the OTP with the correct OTP. If the OTP is correct, then you can display a correct message. If the OTP is not correct, then you can display alert message alerting the user that your OTP is not correct. So this is the basic library which allows you to fill out otp codes inside your angular application so this is the ngx otp input this is the name of the library so fairly it is a new library it has got 788 weekly downloads so you can just see here so let's start building this application from scratch so for this we need to first of all create a new project here inside our directory so we need to make new project here which is otp input I will cd into this and here I will create a new project which is otp. So this will create a new project inside this directory angular project. So now it will ask for routing so I will say no and css will be there. So now this will install the packages so it will take some time depending upon your internet speed and computer speed. So it is just installing these packages. So if you are watching it for the very first time then please hit the like button, subscribe the channel as well. So this is a very special library. If you just search for it, ng OT ngx otp input, this is the library that we are talking about. So simply this is the library which allows you to fill out otp codes once one time password verification. So now it has successfully installed it so we can simply go into the directory and open this inside Visual Studio Code text editor. So the very first thing we will do is we will install this dependency which is ngx otp input. So ng it will install this dependency so just wait. So just add the force parameter which allows you to install inside another angular version. So just to fix the compatibility issues. So now we have successfully installed it. Now to use this dependency it is very easy. We can start this application ng serve. So now first of all what we need to do is that go to the app folder go to app.module.ts file and here you need to include this dependency right here at the very top if you see right here we will write the import statement and for this guys you will also need the built-in forms module which is there inside angular so it will be imported from at the rate angular forms and also we will now import this ngx otp input module which will be imported from ngx otp input so now inside your import array you need to add the forms module and also the ngx otp input module so now you can close this file this is now over here so simply close it so now you need to go to app.component.html so right here you need to write some markup so for the markup it is very easy we have this tag which is ngx otp input so inside these tags these take some options here so the first options it takes is the config parameter so the config parameter which will be equal to otp input config so this needs to, we will declare all these properties in the typescript file 
and also there is an event handler whenever the user has finished entering the OTP code so this event handler will fire which is OTP change so here you can write any sort of custom function which is handle OTP change and here we will pass the event object holding the OTP code that the user has written and also the third property is the fill property so whenever the user is filling the OTP code this event will fire so handle fill event this is the name of the function and here we will pass the event so these are the three properties it takes guys so you can see whenever user has done entering the OTP code and then whenever the user is filling the OTP code so now we need to go to app.component.ts file just writing this logic so right here at the very top we need to import our OTP ngx OTP input config ngx OTP input config so this will be imported from ngx OTP input so now we need to declare this which is OTP input config so we are declaring the same here we are declared this you can see that OTP input config so we are providing these properties here so this needs to be same the spelling needs to be same and this will be of the type ngx OTP input config so this will be a object holding the various options so this is the first option it takes is the how much is the character limit of the OTP so here I can provide six characters you can just change it to anything three digit OTP you want to receive or four digit it is totally up to your application logic then we have the autofocus so when the application loads for the very first time it will automatically focus on the input field it's a boolean value either true or false I will put as true class list you can attach various CSS classes to it just to make this uh, look prettier so input box and we will attach the special class which is my super box class this is not mandatory but you can do it to make it look good you can also attach your own classes in CSS it is totally up to you how you need to do this but this package comes with its own classes so it becomes very much easy or handy to attach these classes on these events so when the input field becomes disabled this class will be attached to it and when it is success input success when the code is correct then this class my super success class and when there is an error this class will be attached my super error class and now we can uh, just write these two methods guys which we have initialized inside this HTML file so right here handle OTP change so inside this guys we will have the value coming from the event this will be the value in array like structure the function will be void and we can console log the value which is value here and also when we are filling the values handle fill event this also will be a string value we can console log the value that's it so this is now complete guys now we can test out this application so it is saying that handle OTP change event
let me remove this for now and start this you can see compiled successfully so if I now open this localhost 4200 so now you can see that guys we have got the six digit OTP here we can fill out and uh, this is very handy and uh, you can change this OTP length to let's suppose 3 so now this will change automatically to 3 digit OTP you can see that so it is very handy this comes with its own styling you can see all these classes are attached to it so these two handle OTP change I think it is this error is coming due to the fact that uh, this is the latest version of angular and uh, you will see that if I copy this and try to search it on stack overflow I think hopefully this will give me the answer argument what is that argument of type event is not assignable to parameter let me search for this and uh, I think hopefully some guy has answered this so Oh, I think this needs to be changed to any. So just change this to any. Because inside, when we are calling it, we are not passing any sort of uh, string or integer. We are just passing it gener generically. So that's why we need to write any here. Hopefully, this will solve this problem. If I once again, you can see compiled successfully. So now if I reload this application and try to open this application localhost. So you can see if I check the console here you will see this value will be printed out you will see that on the console 456789 so based upon your logic inside your application you can compare the OTP which you have sent it is very easy by a simple if condition so when the you can simply say if value is not equal to 1 2 3 you can just compare this uh, I think you can change convert string to integer in angular so there is some kind of method what you can do is that uh, parse and parse and you can use this method to convert a, a string to integer and simply you can here compare this with uh, let's suppose if it is not equal to 1 to 3 in that case you will simply say sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's a 6 digit OTP so you will see your OTP is correct else scenario you will simply say your OTP is not correct So now if you now fill out this some other OTP here you will see that uh, 
I think uh, how to show alert in Angular. I think we need to show this inside some kind of this logic you can do. It is totally up to you how you want to process it. In this video, I just wanted to show you about this specific library which is OTP input. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, then please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then, thank you very much.